Hey guys, it's your girl Lakia Maria and welcome to another video here on the channel. Whether you're new to the channel or an OG, I primarily share planning and organizational videos plus crafting and welcome to another edition of my planning for 2023 series. For those of you that are unfamiliar with my planning series, I share with you guys my planner system for the upcoming year as well as tips and tricks. This particular video is going to go more in depth on the planner I am going to be using in 2023 and I will have a part two once I completely set this up. So everything that I purchased is from Amazon, the cover, and the actual bullet journal that I am using. I tend to gravitate back to a bullet journal system. It's become kind of like comfort and home for me. I just love the flexibility of being able to plan how I want, when I want. While I do like to have some preset template type of planner, being able to just create whatever I want on a page, I really love the freedom for that. And I believe that's truly why I keep gravitating back to a bullet journal style, whether it's a B6, an A6, I'm currently using an A5, I've used a standard size. I just keep gravitating back to the blank space of it all. So I decided to go with an A5 for a number of reasons. I wanted something that had more space. I also wanted to do more creative planning. I was having a lot of fun in this standard size bullet journal that I was using from Ali Reyes. I'll have her shop linked below, but you can find standard size notebooks just about anywhere. Um, I particularly like the grid opposed to the dot grid. And I decided to go with a Stalogy. Now, before my Stalogy came in the mail, I've talked about the options I had. I had the Hobonichi Cousin that I was thinking of using, but also this journal from Walmart. Now, what I liked about it is that it's hardcover. I could still put stickers on this cover and deck it out if I want, but I did not like the dot grid. If this was grid, it would definitely be more my speed. The pages are also numbered inside of here, if that matters to you. There's also an index. I mean, I tried. I tried. I just couldn't get my monthly right. Um, and then as I ripped out the pages, it just... It just wasn't working, it, it wasn't working for me. It does have a band on the back to keep everything together. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative and looking into the bullet journal system, you can do the bullet journal system. It doesn't have to be a Stalogy. It doesn't have to be a Hobonichi. You can just get you a dot grid notebook from Michael's, Hobby Lobby, your local craft store, Walmart. This is the Exceed brand, if you guys wanted to know what it was. so. I did try that out before my Stalogy got to me from Amazon. Now, I have tried a Stalogy in the past and it just did not work out. I also put this pressure on myself of wanting to have this perfect, aesthetically pleasing planner and that's just not realistic. I look at what everybody else is doing. That's how I ended up buying the Hobonichi that's being returned. Uh, it's how I jump into trying out a system like this because I've seen other people use it and rave about it, but I just have it now. And it's okay to try new things, but Sometimes I try things and it becomes a waste of my money because I don't end up using it. So in being intentional with my planning, I was like, you know what? You want to do the A5, Lakia? Let's do the A5. So I committed to a cover, a Moterm cover. Moterm covers are not cheap. I remember when I was using um, a B6 traveler's notebook system and I made my own cover and I was like all right if you stick with this for six months then you can go ahead and purchase a brand new cover the cover that you really want you won't have to use this one that you like rigged from Michaels you can get a new one this one I just jumped out the window and decided to go and get the cover now I also, with this, 
purchase the clear cover that came with it. Hope I didn't rip anything there. I purchased the clear Stalogy cover, which will also fit the Hobonichi Weeks. These are paperback notebooks. So this cover adds a little bit more durability to it. And because it is paperback, that's why a lot of people go and buy a more permanent cover. Let me put this back into the cover. Now this Moterm cover is really cool. And what I like most about it is that I have space to decorate over here as well as over here, but also this huge pocket, okay? I can put stickers inside of here, which is great to have them on the go because I found with my other system, I mean, I did have this planner pouch that I got off of Amazon and I still plan on using it in the, as I drop everything per use. I do plan on using this in the new year, but I like that if I don't feel like carrying that case, I don't have to. I can fit my stickers inside of here. So what I plan on doing is decorating this more. I'm probably going to put a 2022-2023 type of sticker here. I might make that on my Cricut. I'm still looking for inspiration on that. Oh, this cover also comes with a pin loop. Of course, you have the snap closure and then these little bookmarks that are kind of getting on my nerves. I won't lie because they don't stay in place. They don't stay in place. Anyway, so I'll do something with this. I was also possibly thinking of putting a pocket here, but I think having like a cover page to the year would be cool. Uh, doing something over here. I jumped right into November 2022. Uh, I like to test out my planner before the new year comes but now i'm like oh my god should i have waited this is the indecisiveness joys of being a libra i'm like oh my god should i have waited and just started with a fresh new january but i didn't like the system that i was using so i'm like you know what you have to adjust your planner needs to meet you where you are in your life so that's why i moved into this system because i wanted more space so here's my november calendar hate it hate it I made a little gold tracker. Don't absolutely hate this, but I do plan on doing something different for December. Um, then I, I like this spread. I have like uh, some TikTok and YouTube lists. And I was like, ah, oh, should I have put these in a different section? And I'm okay with having my lists in the section that I'm using because it's what's happening in real time. And it's nothing wrong with that. Then I have some goals, some journaling, a Netflix watch list. Uh, this is Thanksgiving week. And then how I was doing in my um, standard size bullet journal. I'm leaving space in between my weeks for room to journal. And then this is the last week of November going into December. And then I have that page here. I'm going to do my December cover page here. I did my calendar. I put this girl here instead of like a Christmas girl because I'm like, oh, she is ready for the new year. You get the vibe, all sparkly dress. And then I'm going to put my fitness goals and then my end of year goals, things that are attainable for me to accomplish at the end of 2022. And then I will jump into the first week of December. And then if I want to do a daily in the midst of the weeks, I can. It's not a big deal, but that is where I'm at with my current setup. These tabs I got off of Amazon. You can get tabs anywhere. I do need to add my December tab now that I've created it, uh, my December section. And yeah, so I'm happy with the system now. To be completely honest, I'm interested in seeing how long I'm going to use this. I do have my iPad and my iPhone that I will be using as well. I don't use my iPad for planning. I use it for note taking. I don't really use my phone for planning either. I just have random lists inside of there. And when I have an idea, I jot it down. One of my goals for 2023 is to check in more with my planner. There's sometimes that you don't necessarily have something to write down on that particular day or what have you, or you don't have a lot going on and you prefer to journal on that day or not do anything at all. And that's fine. But I feel like we check in more with our devices than other things that we have going on or other things that we want to accomplish. And I want to change that balance for myself. 
So, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. What do you think of my setup? Are you setting up a new planner for 2023? Are you using your same system for 2022? Also, be sure to check out all the links in the description box, which will have related videos, as well as links to featured products. Be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell would love to have you guys stick around and feel free to like this video so i can know exactly what more con what type of content you guys want to see i appreciate you so much for tuning in thank you guys so much and as always i love you guys stay safe happy holidays and i'll see you in the next one bye